no. Do you really think Jean-Pierre will turn up today? Yeah, I'm sure he will. He loves football after all. And when he comes back, I can't wait to play alongside him. You really have faith in him, don't you? I do. Anyway, let's head over to the dojo. The captain wants Roman to come back to practice, even if it means dragging him out of there himself. Yeah, why has he gotten to skip practice this whole time? Shaking my head. He gets to do his dedicated training instead. Just believe in your own strength, and no one will be able to stop you. Got that? My own strength. I really like that Archer Hawkins had that fleeting role in the Rai Rai Noodles shop. Yeah, it's a pity that somebody from Inazuma National would not go on to become a professional footballer, but he's taking on Coach Hillman's business and I've gone to the wrong place. Actually, no, we'll go here anyway, because I just randomly was wandering around this place off screen when I realized you are never required to go to this room, but you can actually go to the showers in the stadium. It has a bird in it, which says a lot about the hygiene. You can even see that under one of these showers, it's this one, there is an itty bitty sandwich. I wouldn't eat that if I was you. But yeah, Archer Hawkins, obviously he was a member of Inazuma National before and he seems to have given up football despite the potential everyone saw in him before putting him on the team. But he's, he's taking on his mentor's business and he's not even addressed as a member of Inazuma National by the guys who were there in the shop. They probably didn't even realise because he was just a, a defender at the end of the day. But we all liked him as a member of the team. Uh, if I'm not being too presumptuous there. Roma, it's about time you took a break from this training of yours. There are others waiting to use the dojo, you know. Okay, let's go then. We now have Ryoma Nishiki back on the team, which means we're a bit better equipped to take on Ivy Selective. That was unexpectedly easy. <laughs> well, I was just finishing up anyway. Besides, you lot are looking chirpier than before. I reckon I can finally have a bit of fun together now. So let's go. Okay. Everyone's trying so hard. I wish Jude was able to see this. Jude, I want a word with... Hmm? You've been taking notes on Arian and Ricardo and Samgok too. Wait a moment. Are you collecting info about every player on the Ryman team? Rai Rai Noodles, got a delivery here for Mr. Sharp. Wait, Hawkins? Archer Hawkins? I didn't order any noodles. They're on the house. You're gonna need the energy to get your lads through the third round. Besides, I think I owe the Ryman 11 more than I could ever give back. They look like stayers, these lot. Stayers they may be, but I still see countless flaws, and I don't know what else I can do to get them to improve. Right, listen. When we were aiming for the world, out there on the pitch against all those amazing players, was there ever a time we weren't nervous? I thought I wasn't pulling my weight. I'd look at you, and you all seemed so far ahead of me that I couldn't see my own potential. I'm making them lose sight of their potential. Is that what you're saying? Stop trying to look forwards all the time. Take a glance back once in a while, like Coach Hillman and Mark did for me. But do I really need to be telling you this? You're Jude Sharp. You already know. No one knows the differences between Royal and Ryman better than you do. Uh, that's very true, so Archer Hawkins, we won't see him again. He won't be playing football or anything. He's just there to give some genuine good advice to Jude Sharp. And now we will head over for some training with him to see exactly how that advice impacts on the training. Or at least we would if we weren't doing the promised match against Ivy Selective. I obviously don't intend on showing the full match because, believe me, there's not enough to say about this team to fill the whole match. But it's worth seeing what Ivy Selective are like, because indeed this was a team that you were meant to face as part of the main story. I don't mean as in a, 
a pre-production planning that got changed as a decision. I mean, within the story, you were intended to face this team, and then Alex Zabel made the executive decision to swap these guys out for Royal Academy to give you a really tough semi-final matchup. And as a result, these guys instead had to take on Pirates Cove Merchant Marine Academy, where they lost, as you would expect them to do. They have no coach, apparently, and their formation is Blue Leaves. So what is notable about Ivy Selective, if anything? Well, yes, there is one thing that's worth saying about these guys. They're actually all wind element, and I do mean all of them, in the most literal sense. And all of their special moves are wind-based as well. So you have to say, I wonder how these guys got as far as they did in the first place before we then swapped them out for Royal Academy, because they don't seem that good, really. We're going to see if a flying fish is good enough to get past them without even bringing out the fighting spirits or such. They're not even going to use a goalkeeping special move. I'll at least go for a second goal on screen to see if they've got any kind of resistance to our output. But, uh, yeah, that is Ivy Selective. They are exactly what they are. Somebody kind of like the Great Horn from Inazuma 11.3 where they've been put in the game. They are a genuine team that's relevant to the backstory of stuff. You're just never required to face them. And they will never really get anything more than that. And alright, I can see why that might be a foul. I understand. I've been bashing them enough with my words. I don't need to bash them physically as well. I, this would be a chance to use Fensive Gaia for like not the very much if time. But <laughs> we'll just Stop it in this way instead. I'm going to use a special tactic to just get us straight over to the other side. And then that will probably do. Thunderbolt! I really don't have much variety when I'm using special tactics, do I? But Thunderbolt's just undeniably the best that we've got on hand right now. Why would I not? All in! Doom Dive Drive and Ivy Selective can be retired from this Let's Play. Maybe you'll see them in the Chrono Stones, let's play briefly. I do know that they are in a competition route that you get to play before the post-game. But maybe that's giving away too much very, very minor details about a game that I'm not currently playing. Well, that wasn't too tough. I mean, I didn't expect it to be, but perhaps I should emphasise more that it was really, really easy. Those guys did not stand any sort of opposition. The goalkeeper did eventually reveal they had a special move, and it was whip crack. So that sums it all up. Somehow they made it to the third round. Big yikes. But nevertheless, we do get to keep their kit, their badge, and their leaguette. And also, several of our players have actually managed to get new special moves off of that including Kaiser stealing Acrobatic Keep from Ryoma, as well as Whirlwind Force on Peabody and Mystic Mist, an upgraded Fog of War for Gabby. So in that case, let's see if there's any other matches we can do on Millie's competition route right now. I'm probably expecting not. No, you can. You can take on the Super Kids. We still have not defeated the rays that penetrate the darkness, but... Hey, why not? Let's just give those super kids what they were asking for. It is literally just the, the same Inazuma kids as before, to the point where I won't be showing more than a minute of this. But hey, they are leveled up now. They've got new moves, which make them... A for example, Hunter's Net is a fairly threatening defensive move for them to have. Not too bad, and always good for getting some experience points on my team ahead of the Kirkwood Junior High match-up. So we will get the one goal. We've now actually got Roma on the pitch, where before he was just kind of jammed off to the side. Oh, heck. Upgraded Muller is going to be able to take that from us. So, um... 
Let's instead use this as an opportunity to bring in Mystic Mist. It is more powerful than Mystifying Mist by a total of eight. It looks very, very similar on the whole. It's just there as a pure upgrade, which you may as well use, even though the concept is the same and the, the power-up is not all that great. Anyway, this is going to be a really roundabout way of getting our first point, but we'll take the foul and then use Whirly Whirly to depossess this player and then go for a goal with running in the 90s, I suppose. Fair enough. And that's all you need to see of the Super Kids. Well, fair enough, they're super-ish. Yeah, even on their own coaches' competition route, they could not put up any sort of resistance in an 8-0 loss. But it, and Arian got to level up his fighting spirit. <gasps> no way! We have unlocked Coach Steve Grimm from this match. We've also got a new dribbling move for JP and a shooting move for Roma. But more importantly, we can set Steve as our coach in non-story relevant matches. I must do this straight away. So I can't do it for that one. There is... Yeah, I kind of have to do this while setting multiplayer teams, don't I? Well, the multiplayer will be something that I cover at the end of the series, so I guess it can wait until then. But I must save this momentous occasion. Nothing will remove Steve from my save file. He's mine for keeps. Do we have anyone else? Uh, sure. Reserves Alpha. Why not? Let's see who they are. I couldn't tell you. I am going to be so over-leveled for the next match now. I was already a little bit over-leveled for the last match, but this seems to be mostly a combination of players from teams that we have faced so far. Yeah, they're just, like, there's bits of Royal Academy in there, bits of Bits of everyone, so I'm just gonna cream them straight away. You don't really need to see any part of it. I suppose I never really pointed out the actual gimmick of these teams. I mean, yeah, they are players from teams such as Royal and others that we played in the qualifiers, but the main point is that they're all reserves. So, Fred Featherstonehoff, for example, was the reserve goalkeeper for Royal Academy, and would you believe he is a whip-crack user just like everyone else in this game? Yeah, no offence, lads. I can see why they keep you all on the bench. That's another 8-0 win for Ryman. Oh man, this extra competition route, not only is it proving to be a series of really easy matches, but also I am sure this is making me over-leveled for the rest of the series, to the point where I'm thinking, maybe I should stop, because my team level now is... It doesn't say, but Ito's got Blast Mine, which is a dribbling move at least, or is it... Taking, but it's it's something that stabs people through the chest and it's really nasty to look at. But it is a dribbling move, and yeah, my team level right now is 35. I think that's probably high enough if I were to take on any more of these guys, which I can if I beat the super oldies. It would probably put me in a bit too good of a position, but we will get back to that in the next chapter at least. of the coach's brutal training today. I suppose so. You know, they really seem to have pulled themselves together recently. When you think about it, these training drills are a pushover compared to some of the scrapes we've been in. Coach Evans isn't here right now, but he's with us in spirit, 
We're going to bring back the football we know and love. Yeah, that's right. We're going to make it through this and show the coach we aren't dead weight. Right, Doc? Oh, and um, right. Maybe this is what Mr. Hawkins meant by standing up to the coach. That just leaves you on the air. Arion! Attends, j'arrive, j'arrive. I've really missed playing football with you, Arion. It's great to have you back, JP. I'm sorry for running off during practice. From now on, I'll stick with the team no matter what. Glad to hear it. We'll get through this together. Forza! And he is once again back with his new dribbling move, might I add. Walking on air. Now that you're all here, I'd like to provide you each with personalised training routines. Hmm. There are a lot more drills now, and even more repetitions. I can take it! Oh, I hate running! And done! Phew! That's everything on the list! <sighs> Finally! I can do this. I'll fight through the pain. I might not be the best on the team, but it doesn't change the fact that I love football. That's the spirit, JP. I'm a member of the Raymond Eleven. Yay! Huh. Looks like Coach Sharp gave us drills that would push us to the limit of our abilities, but no further. Ah, you're right, but that would require an unbelievable amount of planning on his side. Yes, either way, he seems very aware of our strengths and weaknesses already. I think he's worked out how to unlock our true potentials. Incredible. I can tell you that as a team, your strengths are your techniques and your unique playing style. What you lack is basic overall ability. None of you are up to scratch when it comes to endurance, balance and footwork. Is that why you gave me a harder course than the others? No, I was just speaking generally. That was nothing to do with you. I just had to let you in particular discover your own limits though. Je comprends this. Coach, I all think we are, you are per... Uh, uh, I've just been training so hard that I cannot speak, alright? We owe you an apology. What do you say, team? Three cheers for Coach Sharp. Hip hip. Hooray! Well then, here's today's regime. After seeing how well you performed yesterday, I've added a few new things to the list. Begin! Yes, Coach? See? I knew Coach Sharp wouldn't let us down. From what people tell me, my uncle was a bit like him. He was really strict, but he loved the game more than anyone knew. <laughs> Kablamo! Yes, now everyone is suddenly warmed to Coach Sharp, and fa fair enough, he is. He's doing a good job, and he's training us to the best of our abilities so much. Ah, oh, it just makes me want to save again. You know, I just really believe that my recording equipment is working perfectly right now. I'm going to have full faith and go have a word with Sky to close off the day, who was all the way up there apparently. Whoops. There you are, Sky. Smidzy. That stands for sorry, mate. I didn't see you. Yes, we're finished with training and the episode. Near enough. Okay, let's call it a day, everyone. Hurry up and get changed. We've got a mammoth amount of noodles to eat through. Woohoo, noodles! Good stuff! I could eat a horse! Mashiki, I've been looking all over for you. You said you wanted to keep up your training, didn't you? Oh, come on, let's train together, eh, then, lads? Well, now's your chance. The dojo is completely empty. You're welcome to use it. I don't know why we're surrounding you like this. Oh, give me a chance to eat something first. Can't train on an empty stomach. 
Oh, stop dragging me! Why am I flashing with light? Was that what I think it was? Kirkwood Junior High. We expect to see Ryman suffer a crushing defeat in tomorrow's match. Is that clear? Ryman are merely a pebble, but that pebble can cast ripples across the world of football and upset the delicate balance. Fifth Sector's regulated football grants equal opportunities of victory to all its participants. I trust that you will emerge victorious to preserve this balance. Indeed, you will embody the spirit of regulated football. The likes of Ryman must not be allowed to sully its perfection. Demonstrate your loyalty, and you shall be rewarded. Right. Demonstrate our loyalty, he says. I'm not even sure we should be on this side, like... Yeah, you're still on about that, Brad. You're just bitter. You reckon it's Fifth Sector's fault you don't get to play much, but it's not. It's your fault, because you've got no talent. Say that again, I dare you! Hey, hey, break it up, like... Even if they are always arguing about it, they still love Tugger all just the same. I've no idea what we should do. My lord, Kirkwood are in discord. They have been influenced by Ryman's way of playing. I fear the quarrelling may soon destroy the team from within. To be frank, I am willing to let them choose whichever side they desire, be it Fifth Sector or the Resistance. I only wish to set them free. The insolence! How dare you speak to the Holy Emperor in such a manner! Let him be. Step down. If you truly want to set them free, then contend with Ryman with everything you've got. Don't hold back one ounce. Finish them off, and the way forward will be paved for Kirkwood. Ryman Junior High. It all began with them, and it will all end with them, it seems. Indeed. And one more thing regarding the arena's quirk in your upcoming match. Forgive me, Your Grace, but I do not wish to hear it. Your loss. 